2018 was another year marked by natural catastrophe, although not as badly as 2017. 2018 and 2012 are the two costliest net cash years on record, with insured losses of around 80 billion US dollars. The costliest years are 2017, 2011, and 2005, with inflation adjusted insured losses ranging from 130 to 140 billion US dollars. 2018 appears to have continued the six to seven year net cash cycle that started back in 2004. It's worth noting that this cycle has been dominated by three peak periods of two years, 2004, 2005, 2011, 2012, and 2017, 2018, each recording insured net cat losses of more than 200 billion US dollars with around 230 billion US dollars for 2017, 2018. 2018 is also marked by several very large man-made losses in refining, aluminum, mining, large construction projects, and cyber. Despite this loss activity, and thanks to the quality of our underwriting and the management of our portfolio, we have produced a best-in-class net technical result for 2018. Our net combined ratio stands at 99.4% and at 94.7% after normalization of net cat and reserve releases. It is very satisfying to see that this technical performance is accompanied by continued growth at a steady rate of 6 to 7% per year. This second consecutive year of intense NATCAT and man-made losses, following more than a decade of continuous risk-adjusted price reduction in the industry, explains the beginning of the market reaction that became increasingly visible in the run-up of 1-1 renewals. This long-awaited movement is currently restricted to loss-making business and appears too limited for now, but it is encouraging for the spring and summer 2019 renewals. Looking forward, 2018 is the final year of our Vision in Action plan, and we are now all busy working on our next three-year plan. With our track record and our dune division structure in place since September 2018, we have a solid base to continue our growth and our development over the next three years and beyond. We have two major goals in 2019. Our first goal is to stay on the profitable growth track we've been on for the past 14 years with good risk management and a controlled risk appetite. We want to pursue the same underwriting-driven approach. We want to build on our client-centric business management, which our clients really appreciate, making the best use of our culture and of our integrated systems and maintaining technicality by line of business. We want to keep improving our ability to work in project mode combining all the expertise needed to successfully run business cases and deliver solutions. And we want to stand out due to our understanding of our client needs and our ability to offer customers products and solutions. This ability to work in project mode and to operate with deal teams was a major factor behind the creation of PNC Partners. Our second goal is to tackle the challenges and seize the opportunities generated by the major ongoing societal transformation and their impact on risk. We aim to be an enabler and a provider of solutions to support and influence societal changes. This has led us to choose three main business initiative areas for our next strategic plan. Sustainable development and energy transition, hubs, networks and connectivity, and intangible economy. Three themes affect the reinsurance industry in the long term each of which create challenges and opportunities. The first theme is sustainable development and energy transition. There is today recognition that corporate and social responsibility topics should be prioritized and that energy transition should be more proactively managed. This is a consequence of climate change, challenging demographics and related political aspects, and the limitations of an economic and industrial growth defined post-World War II. The 2008 financial crisis has only made this more obvious. We now see more companies developing new ways of doing business and taking CSR approaches that prioritize trustworthiness over simply maximizing shareholders' wealth at any cost to the environment. Reinsurers have a role to play as facilitators of this transition to work on protection gap, to support traditional energy companies in the transition, and to develop new insurance coverages from property towards liability, health, and savings. The second theme is hubs, networks, and connectivity. Over time, economic growth and human activity has tended to concentrate in specific geographic areas. 
This led to the emergence of so-called megacities, large economic and industrial centers. Alongside these hubs and the ever-growing requirement for speed of execution and delivery, there is a great need for effective connections and networks. The emergence of megacities coincides with the creation of empty spaces and regions in the process of becoming human and economic deserts. This polarization of space and concentration gaps do not happen without generating tensions, both socially and geopolitically. Reinsurers play a role in adapting traditional products and developing new ones to support resilience of hubs and networks and to support political risks, cyber and supply chain vulnerability. The third and final theme is the intangible economy. The intangible economy is leading to the dematerialization of old industries and the growth of new ones, with intangible assets dominating balance sheets, new waves of automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence. The protection of these goods and assets is a key issue for reinsurers. They must adapt to the nature of insurable goods from tangible to intangible. These three long-term themes will drive our actions in the near term as well as the medium term. Our industry has been helping societies through changes for many years. It is still often viewed by governments as a source of support and solution when they face problems or when they feel threatened by new risk. But the industry has failed to gain the recognition it deserves for the value it brings and the essential role it plays in post-disaster recovery. We believe this is largely due to the position of insurance and reinsurance, very much at the end of the chain. For greater efficiency and recognition, the industry needs to reposition itself at the center of the risk solution ecosystem, federating and project managing research, development, and the implementation of solutions. We need to be multifunctional and influential across the entire ecosystem, that is to say customer service, risk management, risk financing, and risk transfer.